Hey everyone, it's Blair here at Time Trades. Thanks for joining me this weekend. This is your weekly video for Sunday, January 15th. Okay, we're going to start with a review of last week's forecast. So we're going to flip over to Trading View here and we're going to display uh, last week's forecast here. And uh, we're going to give ourselves a little bit of a rating here on how we did. So you can see here that uh, I forecast a bit of a V type price action uh, last week. So let, we can zoom in here. Um, certainly got the uh, ending uh, up correct. Um, however, uh, the trend was very clearly up for most of the week. Um, so I'd probably give myself a B on that, um, but I did get... Uh, uh, I did get the ultimate direction correct, the magnitude not so much, and um, there really wasn't much of a sell-off in the week other than over here on uh, Tuesday where we got a bit of a wick down that ended up being bought. Uh, the situation right now is uh, price has moved strongly above these one-by-one -one lines drawn down from uh, the August high and the all-time high. So uh, price is moving into a positive orientation here for the bulls. Uh, so this is some good confirmation. Now, what we have coming up here, I've got the uh, cheat code uh, visible on the screen. And that is the teal line here. Cheat code teal happens to be like the midpoint of eclipse seasons. And historically, it has identified uh, major pivots. So if we go over to time trades, we can turn that on and I can show you why I think this is so important and why it's the really the, the anchor point of my forecast. So um, here's cheat code teal. The next one coming up is January 30th. And if we scroll back in time here, we can see the last time we had a cheat code teal that bracketed the August high. Um, and before that, it was uh, a high in early February, February 9th, 2022. Um, and then before that, it was uh, August 31st. So you can see how uh, successful it's been in identifying major pivots. So this is why I'm putting a lot of weight on this cheat code teal line that's coming up on January 30th. And that is kind of the core of my uh, forecast. Uh, and uh, in short, really what we're looking for is to start the topping process coming up. Now, topping is always a process. It's not usually a, a V top, that's uh, typically pretty rare. Um, so that's what we're looking for over the next few weeks. Um, astrologically, uh, last week we had Mars turn direct on January 13th. Um, and uh, uh, this coming Wednesday, we have Mercury turning direct. Um, and uh, once we get Mercury and the moon going positively, I do think that we're going to see a bit of a push up into uh, this cheat code teal here. So uh, we will have both the moon and Mercury positive starting around January 23rd. Okay, so um, if we go over to time trades here, we can take a look at that. Uh, we can see here uh, short-term waves, and we can also turn off cheat code and turn on GAN waves. Let's take a look at both Mercury and the moon. So yellow is Mercury speed. That's accelerating as it comes out of retrograde. Um, and also we have GAN waves, uh, which is a lunar cycle. Um, and uh, that GAN wave cycle is gonna peak on February 2nd. Okay, so uh, really what I'm looking for is a topping process that's going to conclude sometime between you know, January 23rd and, and February 2nd, February 3rd around there. Okay, uh, and uh, so this is going to be like a like a target box that that we're going to end up with, and this also coincides with this light blue curved line, which is uh, uh, Mercury Venus separation. Okay, so uh, Mercury Venus separation is um, uh, another indicator that tends to identify uh, major pivots. So we've got a bunch of them coming in 
on this uh, early February, late January timeframe. Uh, and then after that, we're expecting a move down into March and we can see some big pivot lows here forecast on the QQQ in uh, for March 7th or, or April 4th. Um, so uh, I really think this is going to be sort of the setup for the next move down. Um, uh, it remains to be seen at what price we will see a bottom over here in uh, March 7th or, or, or April 4th in that area. Um, it uh, may not be a lower low. If we look at our mass pressure index, uh, let's go over to SPX, take a look at that because we don't have it on the queues. So if we go to SPX and we turn on mass, mass pressure and we turn off short-term waves, um, we can see that the price has followed the mass pressure index really well over the last uh, two weeks. Took a while to get started. It started a little bit late here with this uh, push up starting uh, Friday, January 6th. Um, but that ended up being uh, 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 being a successful part of the forecast. And now uh, we got another um, green week last week to align with last week's uh, green mass pressure candle. Um, now, mass pressure is starting to turn down a little bit, and um, that's, uh, I guess, uh, contradicting a little bit my forecast here. But I think ultimately we do push up into this kind of hollow in the down pressure forecast that aligns with the pivot high right around um, early February. Uh, and then uh, price will realign with the mass pressure index. And we can see that going forward, we see some some green candles up later in March. So something to be aware of there. Uh, the Dow is actually very similar to this, to the SPX, so I won't um, reiterate that. Uh, but yeah, so given the, the orientation of Mercury, of Venus, and of um, the moon, I do think we get um, uh, a bit of a push up here into uh, this early February timeframe. So what happens this week though? What do we think is gonna happen for this coming week? Um, we do see some less positive astrology coming in this week. Uh, also, if we turn on, uh, go back to the cheat code lines and let's turn off mass pressure so we can see that. Um, so we see a cheat code purple um, coming up on uh, Tuesday. So uh, actually it's it's happening today on Sunday, but it won't reflect itself in the market until Tuesday. Um, and often when we see these, they align with a uh, kind of a pump and dump uh, on the morning of. So uh, we, we can see that a little better in the queues. If we go to the queues and we turn off GAN waves and turn on cheat code. Um, you can see here, the last time we had a cheat code purple, it was January 3rd. That was the first trading day of the year. And we opened with a gap up, but closed with a red candle. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me to see something similar um, on Tuesday when we open after Martin Luther King Day in the US. And um, see a little bit of volatility in the week as we come down into uh, the middle of the week. The, the big uh, aspect that's happening next week is Sun conjunct Pluto on Wednesday at 9.40 a.m. Eastern time. So that's something to be aware of. Uh, that could uh, turn into a, a source of volatility midweek. Um, but then I think we will start to uh, see the, the pull of the cheat code teal here uh, later in the week as that starts to uh, pull prices back up. So ultimately, uh, this is the updated forecast that I think we're going to see here on the uh, NQ. So let's turn that on um, and... Uh, I do think that we are going to see a target um, somewhere up 
uh, around this magic level. So I've kind of centered the target price but, uh, around 12, the 12,200 magic level. So you know I love magic levels for support and resistance. Um, and this also aligns with uh, uh, supply zones and price that have previously rejected price in this range. Um, and also, I think it, it's going to take a, a couple of tries to really separate away from these one by one lines coming down. Um, we're going to have to uh, uh, build up some energy before we truly separate away from those. But we've got our timing window here for a high uh, between the 30th and also uh, uh, Friday the uh February 3rd. Um, that's also the, the GAN wave yellow. So this is really when uh, Mercury and the moon are in full alignment. And we also approach that, um, uh, that short-term wave pivot. When we turn that back on, that's roughly the area where we see a top in short-term waves. So uh, this timing window may extend out sometimes these tops do take more time than we expect, but I think this is a good first target for, for where we go. Um, and then, of course, after that, we've got uh, lots of confluence on the downside for March. Okay, so that is the updated forecast for stocks. So we can go and uh, take a look at uh, crypto now. Let's take a look at uh, Bitcoin. Huge week this week. Um, what we said, what we just said in our analysis that we just did on stocks is actually is very applicable on for Bitcoin as well. Uh, right now we've got GAN waves on here. Um, we've got a nice cluster of green uh, continuing on. Uh, through at least January 20th, and that aligns with a pivot high over here uh, on, around January 20th, 21st, 22nd in that area. Um, so maybe we'll get a little bit of a pullback here midweek with some of this uh, uh, Sun conjunct Pluto astrology, and uh, that will enable some uh uh, some good entries here, some good risk reward entries to take advantage of this uh, pivot high that's forecast for uh, January 22 to uh, uh, January 20th to 22nd. Um, so everything else that we also said about um, about stocks also applies here. We've got the uh, Mercury-Venus separation here. We've got Mercury accelerating out of retrograde. Uh, and um, then we've got some waves down in February and March to be aware of. So um, uh, that there's uh, definitely a life in crypto. It, I found it really interesting to see how... Um, what I mentioned last week on last week's video, how there was a tendency to see some pumps after GAN wave yellow, right? Uh, we got GAN wave yellow and then saw a pump, uh, GAN wave yellow and then saw a pump. Um, this week we got our, our GAN wave yellow and we saw a pump. Uh, it was much bigger than I anticipated. Um, so that's really good to see a lot of interest coming back into the, the crypto sector. All right. Uh, Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum is also showing um, a big pivot high over here early February, similar to stocks. Um, uh, it looks like it's in buy mode at the moment. So look for some pullbacks here. Um, maybe we'll get a pullback around the uh, cheat code teal January 29th before a uh, push up into uh, this forecast pivot high February 6th. Just be aware, as always, these um, probabilities can invert. So uh, always wait for confirmation. Use a confirmation tool to um, uh, make sure that you're uh, trading with the direction of price uh, and not anticipating things too much. Litecoin uh, is doing great. Uh, it's pushed up into this little bit of down pressure here. Um, we see a pivot low January 17th, and then some more uh, green up days into uh, January 29th. 
All right, uh, let's conclude the call with a quick look at the Nifty. Now, the Nifty hasn't been as bullish as North American stocks. So uh, let's just uh, take a closer look at that. Um, and uh, we, we see what looks like three waves down here. Um, and we've got some probabilities of updates coming in January 25th. Um, uh, but what really catches my eye here is late February. We've got a big pivot low followed by a nice healthy cluster of green um, in uh, early March and then same thing on late March. So uh, Nifty, I definitely um, uh, kind of hit the pause button a little bit. Um, let the uh, Let the price action play out. I, you know, if you just do a simple GAN fan or, or trend line coming down off of, off of here, you can see that there's um, really no confirm, confirmed bullish entry. Um, uh, so I think for now, uh, you're probably best to just stand aside, let the price action play out a little bit uh, and target some uh, lower risk entries in late February. Um, Nifty Bank tends to follow uh, the Nifty 50 as well. It's even a little bit more bearish with uh, clusters of red uh, through, uh, through March uh, before we get a nice cluster of green here. So we've got a couple of uh, potential pivot lows here, um, but we don't see any green in the forecast until late March. So uh, again, time to, time to reduce risk, I think, on uh, the Indian markets. Okay, so that concludes the video for this weekend. Good luck trading this week. Trade safe, and we'll talk to you again next week. Bye now.